Hello everyone, uh, Coffee Sewer. Uh, today is a new day, as you can see. Um, had an awesome time uh, yesterday uh, drinking the uh, Becca's Sanctuary uh, using the traditional prep method. Uh, once again, I used six heaping tablespoons. Uh, so I don't know if that's like three quarters of a cup or half a cup, I'm not sure. Uh, but th uh, six heaping tablespoons. Uh, I needed it in a, uh, uh, a uh, pot of water, it was about yay big, so I don't know, um, it's one and a half liters of water or something like that. Uh, anyways, really, really, really pleasant, uh, nice crunk, uh, got me, um, I was asleep by 8 p.m., it was beautiful, just absolutely marvelous. Uh, today, I'm going to continue on with the alu ball method, I'm going to use the same amount of kava, um, and uh, I'm going to see, and the same type of kava, on the same empty stomach, and I am going to see what the uh, noticeable differences are between the two methods uh, to get a good idea of the Kavalokton extract extraction that you get from uh, either one of the methods. Same temperature, uh, room temperature water. Um, so I'm gonna do it right now um, and I'm gonna get back to you uh, with the results in a, in, a, in a couple hours. But as I've said before, you won't see it. Once I finish talking now, it's gonna come back. You might see some pictures in between of me pouring the kava into the shell that's uh, uh, from the alu ball. Other than that, next time you hear me talk, I'm going to be crunked from the olive ball method and telling you how it differs or is the same. Bula. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, kava sewer is back. I don't even uh, think I did any uh, uh, inner, inner uh, mission videos. So uh, you must have just seen that transition right over to this. Well, it's a, it's a couple hours later. I've had uh, six uh, heaping tablespoons of Bequa's Sanctuary uh, via the olive ball method. And uh, uh, so a couple things. Um, in terms of strength, for some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm actually feeling it more tonight. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, it's the same kava, and uh, it, it feels, uh, the olive ball feels like it kind of hits you harder, like like more straight away, more immediate, than the uh, traditional prep, which is interesting. I, I don't know why that is, uh, but very, very, uh, very uh, heavy, you know, so, uh, you know, like I said, same amount of kava, um, but uh, kind of, of a fundamentally different uh, strength with which it hits me, um, with which it hit me. Um, and uh, one thing, one th another thing I noticed is that the alu ball, the taste is, is isn't as it's, it's a little bit more gritty and kind of a uh, viscous than the traditional prep. The traditional prep had an almost like coconutty light nice taste to it it was it was strong it was just as strong but it, it, it was a little bit like a more uh, gentle on the palate um one thing that the alu ball has about it that i really really like is the when you're uh, preparing the kava and you get your first wash and you do your second wash and your third wash um it's 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 a it's a, I feel like you get more out of the alu ball. It's easier to control how much kava you actually get in the end from the alu ball as a, uh, compared to the uh, traditional prep, which I, which I think is, you know, it's pretty cool. It's almost like you can control how much kava you get. Uh, so yeah, in terms of flavor, I think the traditional prep wins. The alu ball, like, uh, yesterday when I made the traditional prep, I was like, oh yeah, no, I remember, ca you know, kava tasting really good. And, uh, and this is why, because it, it, it tastes fundamentally different when you make it with traditional prep. Uh, so I would give traditional prep the the win for like a ca flavor uh, uh, for ca kava preparation. Um, I would give traditional prep, uh, yeah, that's about it for the alu ball uh, you know i would give alu ball the win for kind of uh being able to get the most out of the kava in terms of kava lactones because 
you when you do traditional prep, if you keep kneading the kava over and over again, like second wash, third wash, um, it's, it's it's just a little bit more like messy and, and uh, difficult to manage than with the olive oil. The olive oil, you literally just pour water and you keep shaking until there's nothing left, um, until you're just getting water, basically. Um, in terms of the effects, you know, it, they're they're the same. They're the same. You know, I mean, like the it's the same kava. Uh, you're using pressure to get the kava lactones out of the kava, so you know you're gonna get the same effects. Uh, I, like I said, the, I feel like the the olu ball kind of hits you harder and faster, but I think that's just because you're getting you're taking the same amount of kava. Uh, one tablespoon per olive ball um, and you're rushing water through it and then that first wash is all going into one you know shell which is you know about up to here um, on, on this particular shell uh, so you're getting a higher concentration of kava lactones in your first uh, shell whereas when you do the traditional prep you're usually using more water um, and uh, it's kind of dispersing throughout that water. So, you know, my honest uh, opinion coming out of this is that uh, they're both great methods for, for making kava. Um, uh, again, it was a controlled experiment. I had an empty stomach going into both sessions. I uh, used the same amount of kava, the same type of kava, um, the same temperature of water. So uh, all things considered, I, f I feel like the traditional prep, if, you, if, you, if you're uh, looking for like a traditional type of experience with kava and you want to get a better flavor, traditional prep is going to be the way to go. If you're trying to get quick, fast effects from your kava, the olive oil is a good way to go. Uh, it's very convenient, obviously. You can take it with you wherever you go. Traditional prep is a whole setup. You know, I, I used to carry, I used to have a backpack that I only use for, for kava. It would just, I would have a big uh, glass bowl, my kava, my uh, strainer, all kinds of you know stuff. Sometimes I'd throw a coconut, mil uh, coconut water in there. So yeah, <laughs> uh, that's it. You know, I, I, I feel like uh, it's all a matter of preference. Uh, you, you, neither one is gonna compromise the value of the kava. Um, and undermine the, the, you know, give you less kava lactones. I don't know if, if you did the math, you, if you did some kind of experiment, you might find that there is a certain percentage difference or, you know, a certain amount of milligrams of kava lactones lost. But, you know, from this, you know, very uh, uh, experiential experiment, uh, I can't tell any difference. I, I feel just as great right now as I did yesterday at the end of uh, six tablespoons through the traditional prep. Anyways, this uh, video is going way over and uh, I'm, uh, you know, really happy uh, with uh, both traditional prep and uh, olive ball. I would recommend both. Uh, really quickly, I am going to be uh, doing a review of the new Kava Kava candy ginger flavor. Ginger mint, excuse me, uh, coming up very soon. Uh, that's gonna be my next review, and then after that, uh, we're gonna be looking at some Bula Kava House, a couple of their new kavas. So stay tuned uh, to the Kava Sewer website. Remember to click on uh, our links when you're going to buy kava, uh, so that uh, the Kava Sewer website can continue to be uh, viewer funded and, and reader funded. So, all right, Bula. Uh, sorry. I'm getting a little bit of a cold, so hopefully my uh, sniffling didn't uh, disturb anybody. But catch you next time. Bula, peace in the Kava world.